Coffee and Headlines is brought to you by the generous support of our viewers and the following community partners. Best Court Cutting TV, Bravo's Restaurant Bar, El Rey Lounge de Versalles, Joint Boutique Hotel and Cowork, Puerto Vallarta Neurofeedback, Puerto Vallarta Owners Reps, Oculto, and Siam Cocina Thai. Thank you for your support, and thank you for supporting our community partners. Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines. This is our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we examine news from our city, state, and country. We take a look at your comments, ideas, and suggestions. We combine all this information and try to put it to good use as a community of English-speaking locals and visitors, hoping to connect with one another and to better connect with the destination. It is Tuesday, October 29th. And you can feel the change in the air. Is it over? I'm not sure, but the air definitely feels cooler this morning. It feels a little drier. Of course, I've only had a cup of coffee, so everything could fall apart by the time I leave the house. But who cares? It is a good day. We have a little bit of news. We have a lot of information on events. And we have... Ah, yeah, 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 an unexpected surprise to share. But first, uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'm not going to look at your comments because I get giddy and distracted. I'm going to look at the news instead. And today we start with something we grabbed from our friends at Banderas News. If you're not familiar with um, the local markets, you will enjoy this handy guide to some of the outdoor markets in the Bay, not only Puerto Vallarta, but also our surroundings. Now, this guide focuses primarily, primarily, primarily on north of the border style farmers markets, which are lovely, of course. But if you want to experience a traditional Mexican market in our city, you can get a taste of what that is like at the uh, Emiliano Zapata market, which is small, but it's very cute. And then there's also the Aramada market. Um, those are more um, precise examples of what an indoor traditional Mexican mercado looks like. And for an outdoor traditional market or tianguis, there is the one on the Libramiento, which sets up shop every Saturday, which come to think of, we haven't visited in a while. I see a walking tour developing. Could it be this Saturday? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see what the weekend paints for us. Um, and in case you're curious, or maybe you wish to escape the politics from north of the border for a while, you may want to read this very interesting article in English from Vox, on how Presidenta Claudia Sheinbaum is already reshaping Mexico's energy industry for what seems to be becoming one of our country's biggest transformations in decades. Last but not least, in the first block, Peggy Nelson, president of the International Friendship Club and new friend and recent attendee of one of our spotlight uh, interviews, just shared the latest issue of the International Friendship Club newsletter with me. And I'm glad to share it with you because it's packed with information not only about the IFC, the International Friendship Club, but also about other organizations that the IFC supports. And the good news is that not only is this going to be available in your show notes after the broadcast, but you will also have a chance to sign up for the newsletter if you wish to receive it directly in your own mailbox moving forward. Now, let's take a quick look at our weather. My goodness, that is poetic. By the shit-flinging troglodyte of Appalachia, <laughs> the sun is out. Well, that was quite the statement. 
It is 29th. The what? The shit-flinging troglodytes of Appalachia. My goodness, that's a mouthful. 29 degrees right now. Humidity is lowish, 66%. And may it continue to stay in that lower range. Our weather forecast for today says it's going to be humid with clear skies throughout the day, a high of 32 and a low of 21. Then tomorrow, Wednesday, will be humid with clear skies throughout the day, a high of 32 and a low of 20. And then on Thursday, we can expect another humid day with clear skies with a high temperature of 32 and a low temperature of 19. No rain or virtually no rain is forecasted for the next forecasted or forecast. I don't know, but I didn't see any rain. So maybe it's over. I don't know. We barely saw any hurricane activity this summer. It's really, really strange. Anyhow, moving right along, I have other things that caught my attention this morning, all random, but all wonderful and excitement. And we start with the Lucha Libre, which we loved attending recently at La Lija. We had a blast going, and I'm thrilled to see that the next matches are being announced already. They will take place on Saturday, December 7th at 7 p.m. at La Lija again. You know we'll be there. And um, I was happy to see that the two of the luchadores that made us laugh out loud, Charifas and Chaflan, they are of some, you know, they're part of some pothead team because they're always going like, shh. <laughs> uh, they're going to be back. And this time around, I'm buying the T-shirt. I'm a sucker or maybe not. I just want to support these guys because they were so so agile is that the word I've, I've read it i know what it means but i've never had to say it agile yes i think that's the way you pronounce it anyhow <clears throat> charifas and chaflan they were funny and and they were they were just it was great so anyhow if you want to go to uh, a truly mexican experience and family oriented <clears throat> you will be happy to know that this is coming back to Puerto Vallarta. Another random thing that I found on Facebook this morning, this photo warmed my heart because it is a perfectly wonderful, there's this perfectly wonderful and unassuming bakery near my home on Francisco Villa, and it is called Panadria Los Abuelos or the Grandparents Bakery. They're the nicest people. They just uploaded this photo to their Facebook page. You are looking at miniature Day of the Dead breads that they just baked. And they're selling them at seven pesos each. And I think they're totally adorable. And I know I'm going to be stopping by sometime today, maybe when I'm on my way into the Joint Boutique Hotel later on this morning. And I... Something else that I found on Facebook, this very interesting video on how Mexico's traditional papel picado or pierced paper is made. Um, of course, now they, they have, have industrialized the process and they have big machines that have die cuts that know exactly what to cut. But the traditional manufacturers just put tons of sheets of tissue paper on top of one another. They trace the design and they painstakingly cut it using a chisel and a hammer. So if you've ever been curious about how papel picado or those beautiful um, flags of paper, sometimes plastic now, are made, this is a short video that you will enjoy. Then I've also been holding on to this one. This is another video that I found on Facebook. And in this video, a pizza place that is not even in Mexico decided to modify their mushrooms to look like little Day of the Dead skulls. And I thought it was a brilliant idea. I don't know if any local pizza uh, places have done this or are doing this, but hey, if you're trying to get people excited about Day of the Dead and you serve mushroom pizza, well, here's a cheap and fun idea for you to pursue. Also, from Facebook, my goodness, Facebook was very generous to us this morning. Here are some awesome images from the Cardboard and Day of the Dead Fair in Guadalajara. 
we went last year. We mentioned it. We did a, a big um, show and tell from our visit from last year. But this time around, they've published these beautiful photos of some of the things that you can expect to find at this fair, which continues for a few days. If you're in the Guadalajara area or are planning on visiting Guadalajara, here we see some perfectly edible, but perhaps not good for your veins and your arteries, sugar skulls. Yes, they're entirely made out of sugar, um, and they are fun, and they're fun to eat, but, you know, it's just sugar, so you are warmed. And then here are some uh, Day of the Dead, Catrinas and Catrines and decorations. Again, the purpose of the market is for you to buy everything you're going to need for your Day of the Dead altar. And of course, Catrinas are very popular, not only this time of year, but year around. There are also other styles of, of dolls and figurines. Uh, you can see some Day of the Dead dogs on the upper left of the image. But then th these paper mache dolls, they're not necessarily related to Day of the Dead. But again, the fair includes both paper mache, cardboard, and Day of the Dead stuff. Here's another photo of these whimsical little dolls, which I think they're really cute. Of course, I think they're really cute while I'm trying to purge my apartment from so many chingaderas that I don't need. But what can I tell you? And what else do we have? Oh, more Katrinas, of course. You need all kinds of Katrinas for a good Day of the Dead celebration. And uh, <clears throat> here's more Katrinas, more skulls. And this last photograph that I have for you shows, you know, technology moving in. There's some LED candles, which, hey, why not? But then look at all the stuff on the right-hand side of the photograph. These are all miniature Paper made food items or clay made food items that you they're all teeny teeny and you may want to use this these items to decorate your day of the dead altar. Of course, what are you supposed to put on a day of the dead altar? And how do you go about it? Well, that's what this presentation is all about, and I'm so excited about this afternoon. But I have some news. It is sold out. So if you already have your tickets, yay. I look forward to seeing you. And, uh, and thank you for getting your tickets ahead. I had no idea that it would sell out, but yes, it did. And of course, for those of you that managed to get tickets, you also have the opportunity of enjoying some Day of the Dead bread at uh, Café Rio right before we begin our presentation at five o'clock. The cafe closes at five, so you want to get there a little early if you want to enjoy either uh, Day of the Dead bread and coffee or hot chocolate combo, or if you want to enjoy, oh my goodness, a decadent Day of the Dead single-sized portion uh, that is stuffed with um, fresh strawberries and Nutella, and this comes with a hot cocoa or a cup of coffee. My goodness, either one sounds like a great deal. And for those of you that did not manage to get tickets, I'm really sorry. Um, I had no idea, but I'm very grateful that so many people are interested in Day of the Dead and our traditions. It's very humbling, and I'm very excited to share what I know with you. Last but not least, of course, tomorrow we're going to have the spotlight and we have two great guests. We have people that I don't have the pleasure of knowing that run the Butterfly Sanctuary here in town. And we have the Per Project. Kathy is going to make an appearance. He's going to tell us all about the different programs that the Per Project and Non-Kill Feline Shelter located just north of Puerto Vallarta are up to. And this is what I had to share with you. So now it's time to see what you have to share with me through your comments. Do -do -do -do. 
Good morning to all. Good afternoon, David. It's great to read you. David is always ahead of us as far as the time is concerned. It is already afternoon in the Boston area. I love it. Uh, many, many good mornings. Dan is busy taking apart a drawer in the armor that isn't working the way he thinks it should. Fair enough. Hello, Dan. Hello, Kathy. It was great to see you the other day. I am so happy that you're back in Puerto Vallarta. Um, let's see what else we have. Do, 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 do. Betsy says, looking forward to tonight's nosh at the Joint Cafe as well as Paco's presentation. I hope you got your ticket ahead of time, friend. I think you always do. I really hope you did. Stan. Hello, Stan. I already have my ticket for tonight's show and I'm showing up early. Gonna be amazing. Oh, thank you very much. That means the world to me. Um, oh, speak of the devil, the kitty devil. Kathy, I look forward to sitting down with you tomorrow because just because cause we've been talking about this for some time <clears throat> and it will be a blast. Uh, Lucha Libre T. Paco says Betsy Ann, maybe me too. I want to support those luchadores. I, ugh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to. Well, there's that sexy luchador that we would love to support, wouldn't we? No, seriously, seriously. Um, we were so, yes, boom, boom. We were so entertained when we, when we went. It was just fun. Um. Do, 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 do. Logan is decorating Villa Lola with a truckload of Sempasuchil or marigold, which is a traditional flower. Good for you. It's good to read you. Uh, let's see what else we have. <laughs> let's see. Oh, oh, well, maybe, maybe next year, Linda, maybe next year, Deborah. Um, I'll record it. Maybe I'll record it. I don't know. This is, this is such a special occasion. Um, I don't know. Let's see what else. Oh, Betsy says, got my ticket yesterday as well as one for Rachmaninoff. Yay. I'm excited about Rachmaninoff, which is the presentation that we're going to do next. Do I even have my poster around to show you? Yes, I do. Boom, ba -da -doom. Our next music appreciation presentation that I'll start promoting shortly is Rachmaninoff unveiling the soul of a romantic virtuoso probably one of my favorite composers. I adore his music and I finally decided let's get this out of my system and let's talk about some of my favorite Rachmaninoff and hopefully some of your favorite Rachmaninoff as well. And if you don't know the music of Rachmaninoff, well, join us so that we can discover it together. And this brings us to the end of today's broadcast. As, a, as always, it is a pleasure to connect with you every morning. And today I'm particularly grateful for your support and for helping me celebrate Day of the Dead this afternoon. For everybody else, you know where to find us. You know it means a lot to me if um, you're able to subscribe or follow or click thumbs up or forward or share or talk about positively or not positively about everything we do here. We've said the other day that no publicity is better than, uh, I mean, bad publicity is better than no publicity. Hopefully there's no bad publicity going on. Thank you very much. I will see you this afternoon. And if not, I will see you this evening. No, no, not this evening. Paco, go get some more coffee. See you tomorrow morning. That's what I'm trying to say.